uh, an application using Cake PHP, which is uh, an MVC framework, and it's very similar to Code Igniter um, in terms of structure and um, design patterns, things like that. Uh, I think that it's uh, easier than Code Igniter to use. Uh, mostly because it's very convention based, all right. So there's a lot of naming conventions. You name your models a certain way, your functions, your controllers, and uh, it kind of does a, a lot of work behind the scenes. And that makes Cake PHP um, really good for fast development. You can create de decent size applications in a, in a very small amount of time. So if you go to cakephp.org, uh, there's a lot of good information. Documentation is, is um, pretty good. You can see all the APIs and um, helpers, classes, things like that. Um, and this is the application we're going to be building, Job Finds. It's basically uh, a job board. And this application, in my opinion, is probably the most production-like application in this series. Um, I know like we've built things like blogs, uh, but we wouldn't have a user registration because that would just make the chapter way too long. This I've managed to cram pretty much everything in, including registration, access control. Uh, you can see if we click on add job, it's just going to bring us to a login page because we have it so that um, you have to be registered in order to, to post a job. Um, the home page we have a nice filter search bar here um, we can search by keywords by state and by category uh, and then we just have a list of jobs here on the home page uh, and jobs can be part-time full-time or freelance of course you could add your own um, if you want uh, but you click on read more and it takes you to the main page location job description things like that and then we just have a simple mail to link um, to contact the the employer. All right, um, browse jobs basically um, like the home page, and we have the categories here that uh, we created in the in the database. And the search works pretty well. If we say WordPress, you can see that only this listing comes up, um, and you can search by state if you want or category. Obviously, if we search for WordPress in construction, that's not going to come back with anything. All right, so um, let's see, register. Okay, so you can create an account. We have a role, a role uh, field, and they can register as a job seeker or an employer. Um, right now, we don't really have separate functionality for each, um, but obviously, if you wanted to scale this application, you could add that uh, pretty easily. And the last thing I want to kind of introduce is HTML Kickstart, which is a framework much like Bootstrap and Foundation, which we've used. Uh, and that's what I created the template with. Um, if you go to 99lime.com slash elements, uh, you can download it and you can see all the different snippets to, for buttons, icons, lists, menus, things like that. Uh, it was actually my first time using it and uh, I really like it. It's actually much simpler than Bootstrap and I do like the way the templates come out. So before we get into Cake, we're going to create just our HTML template using Kickstart. Alright, so I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it JF underscore HTML. Alright, so what we want to do is go to the Kickstart site and download. Okay, so it's going to give us a zip file. We're going to open that up. And let's just take, not everything, let's take the folders, um, the style sheet, and blank. And that's it. And we'll take the composer, which is like a manifest file. So let's um, paste these things into our folder. And let's see, blank. Let's um, open, let's actually change blank to index. All right, and let's open up composer.json. 
and you can just put your project um, uh, actually we're just gonna leave this as is I'm not gonna change that um, so let's open up index HTML all right so it's basically a blank template it has all the head code and stuff like that um, so let's go ahead and change the title to job finds welcome and uh, kickstart CSS we want to keep that that's the main CSS file and then style.css that's good we'll use that as our custom CSS file we have uh, jQuery include in the kickstart JS file which we want to keep um, so that looks pretty good so I want to get rid of everything in the body and kind of start from scratch. Actually, I want to keep the grid, ID, the grid, which is going to be used as kind of like a container. Um, I'm actually going to give it an ID of container. All right. So in here, we want to start our header. So we'll put in the header tag. And in here, I want to have half of it for the logo. So if we take a look at it here for the logo and then the at the link over here. All right. And ev this might not be exact. We probably will change some things when we actually are dealing with our application. Um, so we're going to say div class and this works just like bootstrap and foundation. Um, the syntax is call underscore and then the number of columns and then you just want to add the class name column. Okay, so that'll give us a six column div. Okay, and then we want another one. All right, and in this first one, we want our H1 tag. All right, and that's going to say job finds and I want to just add a span to the job part of it just to give it that different color different look all right so that's the logo okay now here we'll put um, it's gonna be a, a form with a button okay and we're gonna say button class equals um, large green and we want an icon next to it so I class I want the plus icon okay so it's icon plus and the text will say add job All right, let's see what that looks like. Um, we just want to open the index. Okay. All right, so that's fine for now. Um, obviously, we're going to do the CSS. I'm probably going to do that after. Um, so next, we want the navigation. Uh, if we go to the site, to the Kickstart website, and look for menus. Okay, so you can see the horizontal is pretty much the same one I have, so we're just going to grab that. Okay, grab this. And we're going to paste that. Actually, first we're going to create a new row. Um, so after the header, closing header, let's say div class equals call 12 column because I want this to go across the whole page okay and then we'll paste the menu in all right Whoop. okay so there's our menu so we want to change the menu text all right, so for the first one, uh, we want this to be the home link. And for now, it'll just go to index HTML. All right, and then the next thing we want here is 
browse jobs and I want an icon um, actually for both of these so if we go to kickstart um, icons so I think there's a home one AFG yeah okay we have icon home and then for browse jobs let's do we'll just keep the one it has uh, actually it doesn't have one um, we'll use the desktop one here I guess so let's see home Okay, right after the list item uh, actually I want it in the link so right before the text we'll say I class equals icon dash home okay we want a space there as well uh, let's see browse jobs Okay, we'll do the desktop one and then let's see I'm gonna paste in uh, I'm gonna get rid of the rest of these and paste in the register and login all right and the register we're using the user icon login we're using the key icon so let's check that Okay, um, something obviously went wrong here. What do we got? I class icon home. Oh, we put a li ending tag. We got to change that. All right, so that looks good. Next, we're going to have the search area, and I'm just going to paste that in. So under under the uh, 12 column div here, I'm going to paste in a div. Um, it's also a 12 column and has the ID of search area. And then we have a form with the class of horizontal um, input text for keywords. We have a select for state. Uh, down here we have a select for a category and then we have a, a submit button alright so that's all we need for the search okay next we just need our listings um, so after this div I'm gonna paste this in and let's go through it real quick 12 column div has a heading and then we're having this UL with the ID of listings okay and then we have the list item we have a type which is going to be the the box with full time or part time and then a description with the title and description and then a read more link down here with the um, plus icon okay and these are going to go to just details html just for now all right so that's that let's check that out Okay, so obviously there's no CSS, so it's not going to look very good yet. All right, so after that, I think it's this div. Okay, we're going to do a clear fix just to clear all the floats. So div class equals clear fix, and then close it. And finally, we just want our So footer, um, no IDs or anything. And inside that we'll have a paragraph, copyright. And job finds. Alright, so that's the HTML. 
Now let's just um, add in our style sheet or our styles. And let me just open that up. So CSS, actually, the Kickstart framework, uh, the style CSS is actually in the root. All right, so let's open that. I want to open it with Notepad++. Uh, so basically, we have a, a spot for overrides. So these will be like main things like headers and uh, tables, links, things like that to override. And then layout will be just our custom CSS. And you can see that there's quite a bit here. Um, the nav looks, uh, we have a bit, uh, gray, nice texturized background. So there are styles here. We just need to add our own. So I'm actually going to stop the video here and continue in a, in a part two where we can actually customize our CSS.